Joining us now live from Pasay City, our Cecil Ardizabal. She was at the Senate yesterday during that exchange. Cecil, Senator Soto has apologized already because he said it was just a joke. But social media just won't stop, right? The, after the uh, confirmation hearing of DSWD Secretary Judy Tagiwalo, the name of Senator Tito Soto still trends on social media because of his misogynistic comments after he posted a question on the personal life of Secretary Tagiwalo. Uh, he already apologized, uh, but then again, netizens and lawmakers still believe that there should be more to be done to be able to have a better understanding of single parenthood. Media is angered by Senator Tito Soto's remarks. It's a common, um, it's a common uh, expression as a joke. This post cites double standards, saying single fathers are perceived to be heroes, while single mothers as naano, implying they are damaged goods. This one directs hate towards Soto, who is widely known to have campaigned against women's reproductive health rights. The Post adds that gender sensitivity should be taught in schools. This single mom says good thing she isn't raising a Tito Soto. If they feel offended, then I'm sorry. I'd like to apologize for that. Women's group Gabriela can only hope Soto's gaffe doesn't happen again. Bagamat nagganasya, nagapologize na si si Senator Soto. It would be good na makita sa mga susunod na hearings na in practice ay hindi na ito maulit. Gabriela says the government lacks enough laws to protect solo parents. That's why they are pushing for amendments to the Solo Parents Act of 2000. The law was enacted to provide a comprehensive program of services for solo parents and their children and to protect them from discrimination. No counterpart bill has been filed at the Senate. Congresswoman Brosa says Soto, whose own daughter Shara is a single parent, should initiate a counterpart filing. Yes, so mas mabuti po para mas para nang sa ganon ay malaman at maintindihan din yung pinagdaraanan ng ating mga solo parents. We tried getting the sides of Senator Tito Soto and Secretary uh, Judy Tagiwalo. Uh, Senator Soto declined an interview, but then again, he uh, sent a text message. In the message, uh, he said that he was in a tournament and that he, he's aware his remarks are the talk of the town and that trolls are using it to make a quote comic description on single parents. We also tried to get the side or comment of Secretary Tagiwalo on the issue, uh, but just she told us that she's not going to comment further on the issue, and this is what she told us on camera. Let's listen in. Ako, I said my piece yesterday. Uh, I explained that, you know, uh, where my position is. At malinaw naman yun, and the senator uh, apologize publicly. So, I, I think, for me, that's enough. The secretary is hoping that the issue will finally end and that work goes on for her. As a matter of fact, uh, she just welcomed uh, 17 families, Filipino families, repatriated from Saudi Arabia. Pia. Cecil Larzabal there reporting from the airport where she spoke to Secretary Tagiwalo.